Uh, it's a series of moves of cross fibre to bring the body into a relaxation state so that the body can heal. Without being in a restful state, the body can't heal. Um, it's, it's in a, what they call, um, a frightened and heightened state. And when it's in a restful state, then the body can think, yes, well, that's, I know what I'm supposed to be doing, and it'll then go back to where it should be. Bone therapy is not um, similar to osteopathic or physiotherapists in that they manipulate, whereas we just do gentle moves across um, the, the points that we need to. Fascia tissue is connective tissue and it envelops everything in the body um, and it's superficial so that anything you work on uh, at the surface level can actually be almost an echo to um, the deeper levels um, and it's very fluid and forever moving. That's why um, if you do work on say the shoulder um, that it can affect even far, far away as the toes. Yeah, when I asked the client to raise his arm up and stop when it got to any pain or restriction, that was to find this range of movement pre-treatment and then if there's any difference post-treatment. Again, we're just checking to see the range of movement of the neck and then release the neck and see if there is, is there any more um, range of movement. Often they know what the problem is, they'll come with a sore back or um, sporting injury, etc. But um, we don't actually diagnose, we do take a, a small um, case history and then we'll get them on the table or in the chair, whatever, and um, we'll then assess them because often the uh, pain or the discomfort is not always where, um, the, you know, where the, where the body needs to work on. A lot of back pain, sporting injuries, just general malaise, even emotional issues. Children, uh, it's very good for children with colic, babies with colic, uh, bedwetting, um, stress in children, a lot of stress all, all ages. After treatments, some people react in different ways. Some people get very cold, and that is because the body is going to, into a parasympathetic state, is, which is what we want, and is preparing for sleep and the body's temperature drops and you begin to enter the sleep stages. A friend of mine was going in for surgery and she was very, very worried about it. So I said, well, the you night know, before she came and she had some bone, bone therapy and the next day after the um, post-surgery, the nurses couldn't, were blown away because she was fine, she didn't want any painkillers or anything and um, she actually instigated the, the text to me. I was always open to alternative therapies, so I would like to take the natural approach. Um, and I did Reiki for quite a few years, and then when Denise was doing Bowen, I gave her a go. Well, I was, ha I was having trouble with my uh, lower back mm -hmm. and my neck, and um, I think because maybe I think a lot of my problems was because I was tense um, and I found it relax, relaxing and helpful. Initially, I, when I first started, people were saying, I feel great, I feel tall. In fact, a lot of people would say, I feel lighter, I feel taller. And it wasn't, it was, it was enough to, it wasn't a coincidence. And, but now you can actually see it in their eyes. Thank you.